Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Gaming and welcome. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Gaming and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be installing Age of Empires 4 on our Linux machine. So let's get started. Now, Age of Empires is one of the games that I love. I used to play Age of Empires 2 for the longest time. And then I switched over to StarCraft and then Warcraft 3 and then World of Warcraft and tons of stuff. But Age of Empires 2 has always been a special place in my heart. And now the latest installment of Age of Empires, which is Age of Empires 4, is now out. And my God, this game is great. I've been playing the story mode and I've been playing a little bit of uh, 2 versus 2 and stuff like that online. But yes, the next logical step to get this going is to get this working on Linux. So here we go. As soon as I pop into my Steam, I already got a new Proton Experimental update, which is always great. This is running on the beta release. And that's the first thing we have to switch over to just to get this working. Now, the first thing we need to do is obviously install Age of Empires 4, which I already did. We're gonna need to head over to Proton and head over to Proton Experiments. And in here, we need to enable the Bleeding Edge Edition. So you're gonna right click, head over to Properties, and go over to Betas. And this is where you would change over to Bleeding Edge. Normally it would be on None, but we're gonna change it over to the Bleeding Edge and it's gonna download the latest version with all the updates and patches for fixes. And once you're done with that, now we could head back into Age of Empires. And in here, we would switch over to the Bleeding Edge Edition. So go over to Compatibility, pop over here, and switch over to Proton Experiment. Now, they already did a lot of the fixes, and I was just testing it out on the regular Proton, and it seems to be working, but they fixed some DLLs and DirectX and issues like that on the Bleeding Edge Edition, which should make the game a lot more playable. So once you're done with that, just launch the game. Now, everything works. There's no settings that you need to change. I'm able to play this game perfectly fine, except for one thing, which is online play. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get online play working on Age of Empires 4. So everything starts up and runs. Um, you could do whatever you want as in solo. So if you're in single player, everything will load. Uh, I don't wanna play campaign because I'm in the middle of that. So if I was to do a solo battle, um, whatever it is, start, get the game up and going, and here we go, start of the game. Obviously, you could change your settings to whatever you want. It's not my 3080 upstairs, so the quality is not as high, but ultimately, everything works in this game, especially on single player, and I can make my men go wherever I want. Let's see if I could build, uh, what am I building, a mill? No, nope. I need to build this, get these guys going over here, get this person working. Come on. It's like the first time I played, that's why it's giving me all these tips. I did play, but it's still didn't, didn't go through all the tips. Okay, anyway, I'm not gonna play the game. I've already played this many of times. I am gonna quit match. Now, if I try to head over to multiplayer, it's not gonna, it will work, but the countdown's not gonna work. So you're gonna get booted from the game. I'm not gonna really try it, but you could search for games and try to get everything going. But as soon as you join a game, you're gonna get booted because uh, there's an issue with um, something that doesn't allow the countdown to work. So what we need to do to fix this is first, let's jump out of the game. And in here, there is an issue board. This is the board that I've been following to learn how to get this game to work. And this is what you need to get the game to um, play online. Now they did also have a direct X issue, which is now resolved. That's how I was telling you to use the bleeding edge version or else you'll be missing icons or missing like troopers or uh, villagers and stuff like that. You won't be able to see those characters in game unless you did this direct X um, fix. But since then it's been fixed on the bleeding edge edition. That's why I'm, I had you switch over to that. So for what we need to do is basically do these steps. Now I'm gonna grab this first and download VC run and head over to my little trusty terminal, cd downloads.exe, forgot the quote. And honestly, we could do this part 
just by clicking on it. I don't even know why I'm so used to using terminal. Now, move that folder. So I'm gonna make dir to vc run because that's what it is. And I'm gonna move it to that folder we just made called vc run. And when you're in vc run folder, now we could do cab extract because if you did it in the download folder, it extracts it to that root folder and it makes a huge mess. So what I'm gonna do is cab extract, if I have that program, I do, and we're gonna extract that exe. So extract like a ton of these files, you see that? Like just a boat ton on that same folder. And now I'm gonna do cab extract and I'm gonna cab extract a10. And in there, we have this one file that we need called the ucrtbase.dll and we need to move it to the appropriate path within the Proton directory. Now, what is that you say? That is basically the games folders system 32. Now the game is actually this number called 1466860, something like that. So we're gonna do cp ucrt base.dll, copy that to dot steam, steam, steam apps, compact data, and then 144, 146, and then in there, there should be a PFX, then a drive, then Windows, is it lowercase? Yeah. And then system 32, and that is it. Oops. Don't know why it would give me a permission denied, but I'm just gonna overwrite that. I might've copied it once before. And that is it once you're done with that it copies that file over and you should be able to play to go online and play and if it's multiplayer i'm just going to make a custom create game continue i'm just going to make an ai player for myself but this time i'm playing it online and normally this would not have worked if you didn't do that little trick i'm going to head over here and start the game and at this point it would have like countdown remember on the bottom right it would count down and then it would have knocked you off. You wouldn't have been able to finish the countdown. It would have, you would have been booted. Here we are, online gameplay. It's the same as before, I was just uh, pointing stuff and now I don't think I'll have those hints. I love this game, especially now that they fixed all the hotkeys compared to what it was before. Man, back in even Age of Empires 3, the hotkeys were terrible. You couldn't even get like a proper game going on because the, half the hotkeys, ooh, the marketplace is right next to me. That's not good. Um, man, I'm gonna want to start a game because that's how it is. I just constantly wanna play. I gotta turn off those tips. It's because this, this computer I haven't played on yet, that's why it's showing like all these tips and it's getting a little bit annoying. Okay, I know that I have to build stuff, all right? I'll build this guy. And then it'll keep showing me tips. I could play this all day long. I play this so much now. Along with either Forza 5 or this game, those are the two games I play. Anyway, uh, that is it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this to get Age of Empires 4 working on your Linux desktops. I did run into a little bit of an issue trying to get this to work on my laptop with the hybrid graphics where I have Intel and NVIDIA together in that same laptop. It's not properly selecting the NVIDIA graphic card and they actually talk about it all the way on the bottom. And there are some things that you could try. It has not worked for me at all to get the laptop working. So I'm able to play Forza 5 on my laptop, but I'm not able to play Age of Empires 4 on my Linux laptop, which is so weird. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. If you guys like this, please hit the like button. Got any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, Hack till it hurts.